Hey everyone, welcome to Figure Fantasy. We're here now again with uh, Apocalypse War. Uh, we're gonna talk about Snooze Alarm. I'm gonna give you guys two options for, you know, clearing a high score depending on the availability of the figures that you have. So on with our first option. Okay, so the first option is obviously with Kuroko. Um, she's a brand new collab unit, which makes things easier for everybody in terms of, um, you know, kind of controlling the boss. Um, if you don't have Kuroko, I have another lineup later that can help you guys. But I'll showcase this first because this lineup is actually one of the best lineups that I've had so far in um, Snooze Alarm. So let's check this out. Okay, so we are supposed to have Miko. Uh, you have Mako, Miko, Mako. You have Zephyr, you have Harriet, you have um, Kuroko, and you have Megan down there. So, again, um, the role of Kuroko is big because she is dealing in suppression, she deals in stuns. Um, she also is going to help you tank in the in, in, in the middle. So and Megan is there as well to help you with um, you know to help you support with Kuroko as well. So again we're trying to have the best time for this run. So Miko is definitely going to be your primary uh, militarist. You have two um, healers there. Zephyr, of course, together with her, you know, energy regen and Mako with, you know, crit. Giving Kuroko crit is going to be fantastic. Harriet there is just your supplementary damage dealer together with her minions. And um, she's going to do blind as well. So this this run is going to kind of be a bit long because um, this is so far the best run that I've had in the previous runs with Snooze Alarm. Um, my previous lineup was, um, I'm just going to discuss with you now, um, option two, um, obviously for Kuroko, she's not going to be there. But uh, Rin is going to be your, you know, your replacement for her. But uh, we'll see later what is the formation for that one. But for now, let's focus on the task at hand. As long as Kuroko is actually alive, this lineup is going to be good. Um, I don't have her at very, very good gear. It's more or less, but she's right now at 5... And she's dead. So she, she's actually at five uh, diamonds. But again, the gear is not that good. If you gear her, her very well, you're going to be getting a very good score. Better than what I have right now. So again, the, the key here is Kuroko with her, you know, giving her the best gear that you have. And of, obviously enhanced, leveled up. And that is it. So, so far, that is my run for Kuroko. Um, you guys can do better with her if you've geared her correctly. So, later, we'll take a look at um, the gear that we have for her and for the rest of the crew. Okay, so for as for gear is concerned, you have Zephyr here with all HP. You have here Eternal Eden Badge, of course. And this is... Um, a sacred exclusive enhancer for helper okay so next um miko for miko you have crit you have attack and you have her exclusive uh, badge here then this is exclusive enhancer for militarist as for the rest um who did i bring uh, let's go down a bit you have megan here for Megan, you have uh, ultimate, then you have, this is going to be a heal set. Then she has eternal glory badge. No 
um, adornment for her. For Mako, you have um, uh, all HP. For Mako, then this is going to be your Eternal Eden badge. And um, who did I miss? Six, right? So the next one should definitely be Harriet. Harriet, um, have her attack. And I have an HP set on her. Then this is going to be a specialist exclusive Eternal Prophecy badge. And the last one would be Kuroko. Where is she? Okay, so for Kuroko, this is it. So I don't have everything enhanced as you as you you know noticed, but they're all in pink, two in striped pink. That is why um, I need to you know uh, to develop her more. And uh, her badge is your Eternal Phantom badge. Okay, guys. So that is it. Moving on to our option two. Okay, guys. If you don't have uh, this is uh, sorry, this is going to be your option two. If you don't have Kuroko, definitely you have to switch up Megan up front. Then you have to put Rin in her place. If you don't have um, if you don't have Miko here, the best option would be definitely be Sarola. But she's gonna she's gonna die quickly. That's the problem with Sarola nowadays. So you cannot really put her in place of Miko unless you don't have Miko. So this is the second option. Um, try it out and let's see how it goes. So Rin is also vital here in terms of um, doing significant damage dealing. Um, I've had a lot of success with this lineup before uh, before uh, Kuroko arrived with the collab. So far, this is going to be interesting because, again, uh, if you swap out Miko for Zerola, Zerola is going to last quite a few rounds, but definitely not up until um, the end game or the end portion of this because she's gonna, you know, she's gonna die quickly. I don't know why she's really prone to dying quickly but at this point Miko is your best option here because she she she's kind of unkillable as you all you know as you all remember and as you all know so again we're at 500 points 530 and still going strong so far we could reach a million with this one based on my last you runs as you know Harriet is already dead so we could at least reach a million with this lineup with this alternative lineup the other one the highest that I had was I think two million the option one so you're gonna have more points there but again if you don't have uh, uh, Kuroko then you'll have to be contented with this lineup so so far I'm at 900 I don't know if I'm you no know, going to be stepping to 900, but I'm at yeah. So it's, it's at one million. So so far this lineup reaches a million points, and okay. So there you go, guys. Two options for you for snooze alarm, and uh, hope this helps you. Sorry, before we go, um, I'd like to show you the gear that I used for this team. Okay, so for those who didn't see the previous um, equipment, it's still the same that I used. The only ones that is different is going to be for Rin. It's going to show you Rin's equipment because um, she's the one that I added. So as you can see for Rin, it's uh, ultimate set. Plus you have here a skill set. And you have um, Eternal Phantom Badge with her. And this is going to be a exclusive for Vanguard at Dortmund. So that is it. So for those who didn't see the previous um, the option one, you know, option one, I already discussed there the equipment. It's the same equipment that I used for option two. So that is it, guys. So hopefully you have, you know, you have gotten something from this um sample lineups option one and option two and uh, you have used it to your teams as well so thank you very much for staying this far 
Take care, stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.